Hey guys, it's April 27th, um, and uh, yeah, today I got my RAM, so uh, not like a goat or a goat, not like an animal, RAM, you know, memory <laughs> memory for the computer, um, and it is amazing, you see, I, I never really, uh, I never, I, I I never really, and I understood, but I never really uh, fully grasped how much of an impact extra RAM would have on on me. And um, I've got six six gigs of RAM now, which uh, which is still isn't that much. But I was working on a huge project today, and um, and the computer was running as if I hadn't even booted up Live Ableton Live. So I mean, it was it was just just baffling I just kept on loading instruments in and the computer just just took it all without any noticeable slowdown at all so if you want to compose for film new tip of the day get as much RAM as you want as you want as much RAM as you can um, so yeah and uh, today I was working on um, uh, I was working on two more action tracks uh, and the introduction of a character the character's already been into a uh, You've already seen him on screen, but this is where I introduce his theme as who he is and not just a mysterious person. If you're wondering why I'm not moving so much, uh, half step from the KVR forum says that I uh, I move too much in my videos, so I'm trying my god's hardest to sit still. I w I'm aware that I speak with my hands normally like this, and um, apparently the... Uh, it creates blurs when I move, so uh, I apologise. If I do move, I mean, I'm sorry, you'll just have to, to put up with it because I tend to do that when I talk anyway. That's how I uh, that's how I get my thought process from my head to my mouth, through my hands. I know it doesn't make sense, but yeah. So anyway, the track I was working on today, big, loud, bombastic kind of thing, very percussion orientated. snippet from it. I've got some choirs in there today. Sound um, nice. And then uh, I've got a similar section towards the end. Oh. This, um, for those of you who actually who actually know Mega Man, um, here's a little like sneak peek for you. Uh, if you can, uh, I'll play the uh, the introduction theme of a character. You and uh, I'll let you decide who it is. I won't tell you. It's coming. Now, for those Mega Man fans among you, whose theme is that? Yeah, I quite like the orchestration. I managed to get lots of... Um, I, I got what, to me, sounds like a good string section. Um, a lot of the track today... Uh, the second action track was more based... Uh, and there, was, there was a lot going on on screen. And there isn't... The sound effects aren't there now, but when they're put in, there'll be a lot of them. So I, I just had to kind of stay out of the way. So basically, I'm just setting the mood. Like, like this. Just very spirit, like spaced out. Just very like that. So it's very, um, it's very uh, raw, very, you know. Hard. I, I don't know the word. I can't think of the word but it's very something it's very not powerful but 
gritty almost. So it's it's driving along on a kind of gritty um, tone, and that's setting the mood for the uh, for the scene. So that's what I've been working on so far today. Um, I think I'll probably be working on some more as I haven't got much longer left. For those of you who um, who are worried about uh, that I'm still working on the score and the film comes out on the 7th, don't worry, it'll be done by then. Um, I, I just, you know, you, you always want more time. But uh, I'm, I'm not too worried. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm 99% sure it will get completely finished to the best of my ability. But, um, I mean, what... what I, when when you're under pressure, you can you can build tracks of you know the, the highest quality in little time because the pressure forces it out of you. But uh, you always wish you had more time so that you could um, either play with things or try different things out. You know you always well it's like the grass is always greener on the other side. I mean the music I write now will probably be just as good as the music I would have written if I'd have had another three months to work on it. You know, it's just. Um, you always think that you could do better with more time. But if they didn't have strict deadlines, you'd never get anything done. So, yeah, for those of you who are worried, do not worry. It will come out. Um, as for uh, someone asked me a question. I'm sorry, I forgot who asked it. Um, but uh, they asked if I would keep... I think it was Maserati. I could be wrong. Or Tokyo Joe, one of the two. Um, they asked if um, if I would can continue blogging after Mega Man. If people want me to, I will. Um, I've got about four projects lined up directly after this one um, so I mean I can go into those I mean some of those might be a bit more strict on what I can actually talk and show what I can talk about and what I can show so um, I'll, try, I'll try my best to, to blog uh, failing that I mean I can always just talk about working as a composer you know and my, the actual uh, physical process of writing as opposed to like at the minute where I'm showing what I've written I mean, maybe I can take you through um, like an actual writing phase. Um, for those of you who are, have only ever seen me on YouTube, um, before before I got really busy, I, I actually used to do a live stream on uh, ustream.tv, I think it is. Um, so what I might do is continue the blog over on there so I can actually show people how I build tracks from scratch and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, uh, cheers for watching today. Um, I should be almost done by tomorrow with the score. I still haven't done much on Real 3, but I'm getting there. Um, and, uh, yeah, half step. I'm sorry if I moved too much this episode. That, that's for you. I'm just joking. Um, yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye.